The Suzuki Jimny is a cute vehicle that looks like a miniaturized version of an H2 Hummer, but without the planet killing fuel consumption. But if you were in an accident in a Hummer, you would more than likely walk away unscathed. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said if you were in a Jimny. Euron Cap and the Australasian NCAP ANCAP, tested the crashworthiness of the three-door Jimny in 2018. Both awarded the Jimny only three stars out of five. It's foolish to assume that the three-star rating applies to Jimnys in third-world countries, too. First, manufacturers generally tweak production to reduce costs. So, although the vehicles look the same, vehicles from third-world countries usually perform worse than their European counterparts when crash-tested. Second, safety features that come as standard in first-world countries are optional extras in third-world countries. And then there are subtle differences like standard seatbelts, instead of pretensioner and load limiter seatbelts for all. These are the safety features for the Jim Knee in South Africa, and these are the safety features for Australasia, South Africa. Australasia. It's highly unlikely that the South African Jim Knee would get a three-star rating if tested. Third, each region has its own peculiar circumstances. The regional end caps develop specific tests for those circumstances. Stated differently, the crash test results from the Euron cap and ANCAP tests are probably the best results possible. Jimnies from third world countries would more than likely perform worse. In the frontal offset test, protection for the driver's head was rated as marginal because, despite the airbag, the driver's head struck the steering wheel. The passenger compartment, which is crucial for safety, was rated as unstable. This resulted in protection for the driver's body area being rated as weak. For children, protection for the necks of the 6 and 10-year-old dummies was rated as adequate. In the full-width rigid barrier test, protection of the head of the rear passenger was rated as weak. Protection for the chest of the driver and rear passenger was rated as marginal. The front seat and head restraint showed marginal protection against whiplash injury in a rear impact. In the side barrier test, protection for the 6- and 10-year-old dummies was rated as good. However, those gym knees were fitted with side head protection, curtain, airbags for the rear seats. You would be hard-pressed to find that as a standard option in third-world countries. In fact, the South African Jimny only has front airbags for the driver and passenger. It has no side airbags. So, your own CAP's test results for the lateral and pole tests do not apply to Jimnies that do not have side airbags. The European and Australasian Jimnies also came with active safety measures like autonomous emergency braking, forward collision warning, and lane departure warning. However, the powers that be in Suzuki land thought that their third world country customers don't need help to prevent or reduce accidents. Thank you, Suzuki. So, when it comes to safety, the Jimneys sold in Europe and Australasia are markedly better than those Jimneys sold in third world countries.